can just get her to spot ahead. Open wound, it looks to me. Oh my god, she's still triggered the fucking trap. You're gonna be fucking shit to me. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Yep, and anyone's going to go down, of course. Never mind the fact that she was about centimeters away from the trap, she still couldn't t t detect it to uh, save her life. And as a result, it cost her life, I suppose you could say. Uh, God, anyway, I think I'll try that one more time. Okay, so we'll lure this one out first, I suppose. There we go. Okay, now, try to uh, get her to, d to detect traps again. Yeah, probably should get him to find more effective weapons, actually. Oops. That was screw. And down goes Rafe Spider. So there should be a trap around here somewhere, but Imoen, for some reason, is doing a hell of a job not finding the damn thing. Ah, there we go, finally. Just as I say that. Ah, there we go, that wasn't so hard. And there we go, now we'll just lure this spider out as well. Well, that sword spider doesn't mess around, that's for sure. Come down. There we go. Perfect. In fact, apparently it's meant to have sword for, swords for arms or something like that. At least I think that's actually how it was described in um, in uh, in the manual, actually. I even had the original manual for uh, Baldur's Gate 1, but uh, unfortunately I don't really have it anymore. Now, speaking of which, there's the next trap. There we go. And there we go, just see what other crap is around here. Probably more traps I would wager. So there we go, I was kind of hoping for less traps, but no, instead we got spiders and traps as well. Why not say? Why not? It's a winning combination. Well, you'd think they'd be able to maybe fling the webs a bit more proactively rather than just uh, relying on traps, I would say. Yeah, what the screw. Anyway, I think we'll just explore this entire area first. Oh shit, uh, I should have seen that coming, yep. And hopefully they're going to teleport. I guess not, so mind it. Ah, god damn it. I talk about pain now, so <sighs> Okay, we'll try that again. <laughs> Thank god for quick save. And yeah, that's a real pain now, so traps. You have to sort of um, proceed on a bit of that. Well, either you know you get complete, you let yourself get completely screwed, or you're going to have to you know, reload whenever you run into a trap like that. Uh, anyway, let's see. Ah, there we go, there it is. So we'll just uh, get her forward, let those phase spiders teleport because they're too lazy to, um, to jump, or rather to jump, but rather to walk over there. And there we go, perfect. Too bad the spiders don't drop anything. I mean, they, can stop, they can drop giant flies or something like that. Giant spiders and staring giant flies, there you go. Heal up um, these bastards while we're at it as well. There we go, so I can take a few more hits here and there. And then it might like hang across that. Although, if you have a look at that water, it doesn't look like as if it's that deep, really. I mean, looks like you, you could um, almost go through it without even getting shoes to it, really. Let alone, you know, it's being uh, some sort of impassable barrier, but uh, there you go, apparently it is. Something tells me we're going to run into another trap very soon. I think there's a basilisk down there, given the statues. Yep, that I'm seeing. And in fact, where the hell is the greater basilisk? That's, that's what I'd like to know. Oh, we actually managed to survive. Oh, there it is, somewhere. There we go. So hopefully, you can survive a few more. Whoa, okay, maybe not. <laughs> and apparently, I can't do anything about those guys. Well, it's just freaking dandy, so I've got basilisks as well to contend with. Actually. I think. Yeah, of course I have to go all the way down here again. I'm pretty sure that um, undead are invulnerable to basilisks, so if I can uh, get a couple of skeletons into the fray. Yeah. Hopefully, we should be able to. J or a single skeleton into the fray. Hopefully, we should be able to um, get them to target the skeleton first. And then we can attack the mate. I don't know. Although this bus is still a bit, a bit of a direct damage as well, actually, but it's, uh, the skeleton actually fares pretty well, so... Wow, incredibly well, actually, because otherwise I'd have to basically get my guys to rest, so that they would, um... So that's how I'd get the uh, resist 
detrification, uh, or immunity to detrification, whatever it's called, uh, spell there. Let's look at that. The skeleton is still alive somehow. <laughs> Amazing. And these guys, what do they drop? Useless things. Yep, just a couple of necklaces. Well, it makes you wonder why exactly they would. Why busks of all things would actually need necklaces, but uh, what the hell? I suppose even busks need to accessorize a bit. Uh, anyway, let's see what else we can we count here. I don't really want to. Oh, what's going on here? Diamonds. Okay, better put this guy back, and I suppose a skeleton we can just send forward. There we go. Mm. All right, it's about time we got out here. Pratt is. It is Pratt, isn't it? So I need you to tell that we must not keep the Saravok waiting. The Saravok. Interesting. I trust you didn't have any trouble in there. He said that the monks fell for the ruse and that Stalker was locked up. So it took the surface right round to the keep instead of meeting you in the crypts. We really must get moving if we are to catch up with them. Interesting. Damn it. These free answers here kind of reveal that you know, you're not exactly Pratt. I don't name is Pratt anyway. Kind of ridiculous. But anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, I suppose that's probably a better answer. There we go. So where are we supposed to meet him? Back at the Iron Throne, of course. Yeah, there's business elsewhere in the city, but no doubt we should get a bit of coin if we wait in there. Or they'll probably just have you killed anyway. There is still much left to be done, so I doubt he'll show for a while though. The disgrace of Storaka will make the road smoother, but we must still act fast. Saravok is notoriously impatient. Yeah, let's get moving, and let's have a look. Yeah, right, so Oops, okay, yeah, I thought so, that eventually they could say something that would cause them to attack you. So that was never part of the plan. Saravok wouldn't sully his hands on those he didn't deem worthy of personally killing. Struck in the party to be blamed, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Oh, wow, he's not actually... So we can't even kill him. Okay, but we did get a little thing about investigating the Iron Throne, though. Plans to take control of the city. It's no, no good, I'll have to stop him from doing that. Actually, wait a minute, let's just read that a bit more. Eh, likely using his leverage, so I should probably check their base out again. His end goal seems to be war with Am, but his reasons are still not clear to me. Of course, we'll learn about those reasons soon. Oh, speaking of which, that's actually the exits. Huh. Exit to the surface and the exit there as well. So I think um, before we do that, I'll just uh, explore the rest of the level and uh, yeah, basically get beset by more basilisks that. Um, Curiously enough, look like they sort of deflate when you kill them. <laughs> deflatable basilisks, ba or inflatable basilisks. And uh, yeah, as well as bloody spiders using cheap traps and all that. God, that's what bloody spiders do, eh? And yeah, then I think I'll probably yeah, call it today. But so there we go, learnt a bit about um, what Saravok intends to, sorry, intends to do next. Intends to, um, oh, there we go. Tried to make a bid for power in Baldur's Gate, believing that uh, my, myself um, and my party, oh, for fuck's sake, myself and my party are uh, long dead. And of course, yeah, that means we should investigate the, um, there we go, we should investigate um, the uh, Iron Throne headquarters that are located in Baldur's Gate again. Before we do that, we'll just quickly explore this area. Then we'll uh, end on a bit of a cliffhanger just right next to the entrance to the surface. Because everyone loves cliffhangers, eh? especially uh, ridiculous ones like that. I'm surprised that the skeleton hasn't done some of its yet, and yep, of course. <laughs> Actually, maybe I could just use a skeleton to trigger that damn trap so I don't have to um, bother tiptoeing around it. It's, it's almost as good as dead anyway. And hopefully I shouldn't run into busters or anything like that. Actually, hopefully, it can trigger traps. I'm entirely sure if it can, actually. As I guess we'll find out soon enough. So we'll just go around there just to reveal that. And. It's interesting. Where the hell is the trap? I thought it was meant to be around there. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we'll get the skeleton to trigger the trap. Okay, never mind. I guess the skeleton might be triggering, triggering the trap. Huh. That was rather odd. 
Didn't really expect that to happen. I thought some skeleton would trigger the trap, but maybe someone's creatures don't do that. So I don't know. Just too new. Yeah, what the hell are you giving you these guys, buddy? Enchanted crap to uh, to fire. There we go. Hopefully that'll actually do something. Yeah, that as well. Perfect. Actually, I did think I did, did do a bit of damage. So that's the trap I do. Yeah, what? Oh, there it is. Well, I suppose it was at least sprung um, after we managed to uh, <laughs> managed to trigger it, but still. Uh, and of course I can't save because um, the trap is uh, in effect. I think I'll just explore a little bit more. Hopefully I shouldn't really have um, much else to explore. Nope, just a bunch of bats which uh, have nothing to say to me, of course. There's bloody there's obstinate bats going for all of this and they don't even have backstory for me. Makes one wonder what kind of world this is, eh? Not even bats will give you uh, a bit of backstory. But uh, in any case, yeah, but as you can see, we managed to um, explore these caverns, get a bit more backstory on what the hell's happening, which hopefully you paid attention to. And yeah, I'll be proceeding to the surface. And yeah, taking a bit of um, damage here and there, but uh, yeah, overall, uh, turning out pretty uh, pretty well in my opinion. Yeah. Although yeah, that initial fight was a bit trickier than I thought it actually. Uh, that bloody confused. Um, well, I'm not entirely sure what spell he cast in particular wasn't paying that much attention, but essentially results in confusion for your team members. Um, so it sucks quite a bit when it's uh, cast, as you can tell. And sometimes they some rather interesting situations because your team members, although they're still confused, they can still attack the enemy though. So sometimes they do some interesting. Uh, Things as a result, but uh, there you go. So, yes, we'll just start uh, save the game again. Okay, so that'll be here, yep. And there you have it, another section. Actually, no, that's the, um, the, uh, what is it called? The, um, it's not the undercellar. Well, it's the, it's the crypt or whatever that was underneath the, um, or the catacombs that were under the um, underneath ca ha candle cube, so I managed to clear them out, and yeah, we'll be uh, going to the surface in the next video, and yeah, I hope to see you there as well. So until next time, this has been uh, David Vidge signing off.